De Anza Springs has long been known as a place for nudists, but as of October 30th, clothing is now required. It's a new rule imposed by new owners, one that's caused friction in this normally peaceful place. We want to open it up to more and more people. When Luke Wazalu, his wife and their partner purchased De Anza Springs two and a half years ago, they saw it as a real estate investment designed for future growth. I come from a real estate background, so part of it was always, hey, this place was only at about 30, 35% occupancy. There's so much upside potential for it. Luke drove us around the 500 acre property located one hour east of San Diego. This is the Heartbreak Hotel where they filmed the pilot show here. He pointed out what makes it special and unique, saying he envisions it being a destination for weddings, festivals, and weekend getaways. But he says attracting more people meant making some changes. Among them, requiring clothes. Why make these changes? Why are clothes required now? We wanted to open up to a larger audience and we tried. We did a lot of things to try and make it work as the clothing optional park, but in the end it just kind of wasn't working out and we made a, a business decision to transition. Through a county issued permit, De Anza Springs has allowed nudity since 1999. You know, I don't want to say anything, but I think you're beating the pants off them. <laughs> Larry Himmel did a story here back in 2000. Some of the people in that piece still live here today. Would you call yourself a nudist? Yes. I like the idea. Uh, being out here, it's like 110 degrees, so having a coat on is not real neat. William Vanderbeek is one of several residents unhappy about the changes. Some have even left because of it. Those stains say the freedom to be nude is why they moved here in the first place. It's a naturist resort. It's been a naturist resort for 25 years, and that's why all these people up here have purchased up here, because that is the lifestyle that they enjoy. And for the arbitrary changes to be made here, you know, it's very difficult to take. HOA member Rex Lowry has set up a GoFundMe page to find out what their legal options are. Beyond the nudity issue, he and others fear De Anza Springs is changing in more ways than one. They've accused the owners of destroying the land and pushing people out. Said, hey, let him speak. Their anger evident during recent town hall meetings. But there's also those who don't mind the new rules. I've been able to have my grandchildren come up, which they would not come before because of the clothing optional. As for Luke, he understands why people are upset but denies any wrongdoing, saying he spent hundreds of thousands of dollars in improvements and sees this as an opportunity to not only help the resort grow, but the entire Hakumba area. It is, it's a special place. Shanna Handy, CBS 8.